How's it going, Lim Pam Pans? Welcome to another episode of Linear Subscriptions. Today we're checking out Donkey was secretly a human by the channel Film Theory. Now this theory sounds absolutely insane. Uh, Matt Pat, the owner, the guy who runs Film Theory, comes up with absolutely insane theories. They're pretty. They use a lot of calculations and math to, to calculate different things. It's very nerdy. Okay, there's a king. Oh god. <laughs> sure is. I mean, if you think about it, all fairy tales are really fucking disturbing. Tell it to the judge, you creep. Watch the crown. Hello, Internet. Internet. Welcome, Welcome to, to Film, film theory. theory. The show that turns mm -hmm. your favorite bedtime stories into nightmare fuel. Today we're diving sure back into the Shrek franchise because, well, honestly, I wanted to do something on an animated movie but didn't really feel like writing another prediction theory for Frozen 2. And Shrek is, well, he's always relevant. Always. With the main I've been thinking about the franchise a lot movies. thanks in large part to the excellent yeah. analysis videos on the channel Great Shape character. for Illis Productions, which, if you've never heard of, does awesome videos analyzing all sorts of classic animated movies, but Sounds more just like your channel. Work later. So what else is there to say about Shrek nearly 20 years after it was first released? Well, how about we finally put a definitive solution behind the mysterious origins of its most iconic character? I mean, Donkey. as most of you know, the Shrek universe is chock full of fairy tale and nursery rhyme characters who, when the movie begins, are getting rounded up and turned in for a reward. All the big name fairy tale characters are there. Shrek's so successful because they stole characters that Disney popularized. So good on them. A talking donkey? Have you ever really? stopped to think about that? I mean, all these other fairy tale characters are super famous and easily recognizable. Even the generic characters yep. like witches and ogres and princesses trapped in towers are tropes from countless other fairy tales. Oh my god, but which, which of the West donkey? looks so Where stupid. Is he from? That, my loyal theorists, is the question that we explore today. What is the origin of Shrek's donkey? According to the title, he is a human. But that's ridiculous, so I don't know, I'm really interested to find out how he's a human exactly. One that is provable beyond a reasonable doubt, and let's just say that the conclusion to this one is not giving us a happy ever after. If you search through fairy tale lore, there's really only one famous talking donkey to note. The titular character in the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, the donkey. It's not one that most people know, but basically right. it goes a little something like this. A rich king and queen are upset that they can't have a son, but then one day God blesses the couple. Isn't that the like every story that was written she wants to kill it because you know, hundred years ago donkey baby but the king refuses and so the couple raise it as their son so we have ourselves a donkey who learns to speak and have manners he even teaches himself wow. how to play music <laughs> this sounds a bit like Stuart little hello adopt the mouse instead of getting a kid this is starting to sound a lot like our donkey from Shrek right he speaks English he sings huh? all the time he can have decent enough table manners when he needs to I guess is so. one of the few fairy tale characters who knows the way to Lord Farquaad's castle suggesting a possible royal backstory who knows where this Farquaad guy is oh I do I know where he is Just funny does name. anyone else vicious quote from the fairy tale that seems to lock this in as our donkey quote the young lordling once went out walking full of okay. thought and came to a well he looked into it and in the mirror clear water saw his donkey's form he was so distressed about it that he went out into the wide world and only took with him one faithful companion one faithful traveling Trick. companion it's an especially weird detail for this fairy tale to include because that is all we ever hear about this other mysterious character but using context clues we can clearly identify this as someone who's a loner who's also comfortable traveling with a donkey so that pretty much points to someone like Shrek, right? This is absolutely okay, this the origin is pretty story crazy. for our talking donkey, isn't it? It would be until you get to the big twist at the end of the story. You see, the donkey and his companion go to another kingdom and make friends with the king, who marries his daughter off far, to far the donkey away. because, you know, the donkey is depressed. You know, times were different back then, okay? Anyway, just as the donkey and his bride are about to, you know, celebrate their marriage night, the donkey <laughs> takes his skin off to Very reveal himself to be a real it. boy. The king doesn't believe it, so the next night Night, he sneaks into his daughter's room and watches the proceedings. There's a lot of reasons you weren't told this one at story time at night. Or reasons why people don't choose to adapt Grimm's fairy tales accurately. Anyway, suffice it to say, the king is impressed by what he sees. All the old people in the story die and the donkey gets himself a wife in two kingdoms. Okay, this is... 
pretty crazy how all the similarities between Donkey from Shrek and this donkey. But, I mean, it could be just coincidence, who knows? But you can start to see our problem as far as this theory is concerned, right? The donkey in the fairy tale isn't a real donkey. It's just a human disguised inside of a donkey's skin. But one glance at Donkey and Dragon's offspring in Shrek the Third is all the proof we need that Shrek's donkey is 100% donkey and 0% human. Those are dronkeys and dongans, no doubt about it. So with Grimm's donkey out of the picture, we're back at square one, which honestly kind of sucks because that would have been the best title and thumbnail ever, which means a return to the drawing board. So we know Donkey right, is a fairy tale character, otherwise he wouldn't be getting rounded up with all the others or worth any sort of reward. So is he one just made up for the purposes of these movies, or could there be another explanation for what's really going on here? Well, two years oh, ago, yeah, in a that 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 Reddit sense. post, a user named Jeremy V proposed a different possibility, that Donkey did indeed hail from a fairy tale. In fact, one that is Which far one? more popular than Grimm's The Donkey he ever so was. Like. Could Donkey be one of the kidnapped boys from Pinocchio? Is it possible oh that Donkey God. started as a human child, was stolen possible. off of the street and shipped off to Pleasure Island, where he, like so many other people before Island. him, would what transform into a donkey and eventually be sold off into slavery? Now, admittedly, that's a pretty dark backstory for a main character in a PG-rated franchise about an ogre who, in a movie yeah. full of celebrity cameos from history's most iconic fairy tales, we would spend so much time with an otherwise out-of-place talking donkey. And the rationale here doesn't just boil down to throwing up our arms and saying, well, they're practically the only other fairy tale donkeys of note, so he must be one of them. The clues pointing towards a Shrek Pinocchio crossover are ogres are like onions. Ogres <laughs> onions have layers. Have layers. Onions have layers. <laughs> You get it! So let's start peeling them back. First, let's look at what few details we can actually learn about Donkey's backstory based on some of the things he says throughout the movies. He says this in Shrek the Third. Are people reading a pinata? Memories of wedges and swirlies. As Puss in Boots points out moments later, donkeys don't wear clothes. So this would suggest that Donkey was a human at some point in his life, specifically when he was a child. How else would he have been given a wedgie? Donkeys don't wear clothes, but human children absolutely do. Or at least they're supposed to. No screaming naked babies around here. Later on in that same movie, <laughs> Donkey and Puss swap bodies and we get ourselves this short conversation. Well, they were made in my league by the finest. <laughs> oh, you'll learn to control that. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to suggest that Donkey learned to talk as a donkey later in life. I mean, after all, who can remember what it's like learning to talk as a baby? If Donkey was a school-aged boy who got himself turned into a donkey on Pleasure Island, however, he would remember how hard it was to talk normally following his transformation, and how when it first happened, yeah, his normal true. patterns of speech started to get interrupted by uncontrollable donkey brains. And wouldn't you know it, that's not just me speculating here. It's exactly what we see happen in in Pinocchio. When we watch Lampwick transform oh, on Pleasure right. Island, Pleasure Island's Pinocchio. I thought this is thought that was talking about Peter Pan. We right. see two key things. One, that he is indeed able to continue speaking like a human despite I don't know why being I fully that. transformed into a donkey. And two, his normal speech starts to get interrupted with donkey noises. Hey, you laugh like a donkey. You are a donkey. In fact, you based on these scenes, we know one additional detail here. Boys who are transformed into donkeys but still able to talk fluently are sent back to Pleasure Island for a little bit longer until they fully lose that ability. And what All right. your name be? Alexander. So you can talk. Y yes, sir. I want to go home to my mama. Take a back. The donkey in Shrek clearly has memories of being both a donkey and wearing clothes. This donkey is still allowed okay. to wear clothes detail not only opens up the possibility of him getting called donkey dumpy drawers, we know that Pleasure Island is specifically full of bullies. The boys are all trapped there That's because true. they misbehave. So another half turn. Well, well, I thought Pleasure Island was where they went. And there was like something like five Saturdays and two Sundays in a week, and they were never went to school or anything. 
child making fun of Donkey for being scared and soiling his donkey drawers, totally within the realm of possibility here. And lastly, it probably goes without saying, but it's definitely worth pointing out, it's clearly established that both Pinocchio and Shrek share the same universe. Heck, the first okay. time we see Donkey, he's standing behind Pinocchio oh, in course. line. Could this be DreamWorks' way of slyly suggesting that the two characters are linked? Maybe, maybe not. But if nothing else, it verifies that Shrek pulls from the Pinocchio lore. So it would make perfect sense for a Pleasure Island donkey to be walking around somewhere in this world. So the Pleasure Island theory gives us a source for Donkey who wear clothes used to be human and have learned to talk as donkeys yeah okay. which line up with the few small details that donkeys let slip about his own past throughout these movies but i just wish that there was something more like one final yeah there's, 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 there's gotta be something that that binds this whole theory together and a little bit more i don't know design based scientific brain blast i got it look at their species donkey appears to be the exact same breed of donkey as the boys turned donkey in pinocchio look they look this. different though pinocchio, totally like different animation styles but i guess they're the same types of donkeys either all brown or all gray what? no color at the tips of the ears a lighter color along their stomach and a little tuft of either black or brown hair on their head and down into their neck and now look at donkey in shrek same design gray tall ears with no color exactly tips, the a same lighter color of gray along his stomach and a okay, little that's of interesting. black hair on his head and neck this seems really important to point out because there are over 140 different donkey breeds and these they're really holy have very crap different hair lengths very different hair colors and very distinct markings so the fact that donkey is matching up to the exact Hype that we see coming out of Pleasure Island feels like the smoking gun that we were missing before. So at this point, I have little choice but to stamp this theory as Matt Pat certified fresh. Really, considering all this evidence, how could Donkey not be a now grown boy from Pleasure Island? The theory has an answer for pretty yeah. much everything we know about the character. We've established one, that it make him one of the very few famous fairy tale donkeys, two, that he was once human, three, yep. wore clothes as a donkey. What if he four, is Pinocchio? Told his brain, but can still Oh no, English. but he, ne he never got turned into a donkey. donkey form. Six comes from a lore that also exists. But you know, my question now is who was it from Pinocchio? I mean, I actually can't remember any of the characters besides Pinocchio when Pinocchio. I haven't seen that movie in ages, but I think we do with his friends. What if he's one of the friends? Shrek and Seven just so happens to be the exact species of donkey coming out of Pleasure Island. There is simply no other fairy tale or nursery rhyme out there that covers the spread the way the Pleasure Island theory does. Not even close. But if this is true, which it certainly seems to be, it opens up one very okay. dark reality about donkey, his personality, and what he wants to keep hidden about his past. Shortly after that Shrek the Third clip I played earlier, we get ourselves these lines where it seems like Donkey admits to his tragic origin story. When you are clearly not aware of the underpants. Let's just say some things are better left unsaid and leave it at that. What first appears to be a joke about donkeys wearing underwear, according to this theory, actually becomes Donkey now okay. wanting to address the horrific way he became a donkey in the first place. Some things are better left unsaid. He doesn't want to talk about his trauma, which is totally fine. Consider the timeline of events. Pinocchio's story begins with him as a lifeless toy. Let's call this stage one. He then becomes yeah, okay. a living toy, which we'll call stage two. Stage three yeah. is when he becomes a partial donkey living toy for a while before finally entering stage Stage four at the end of the movie when he's turned into a fully grown human boy. Now, yeah, throughout that's, that's the Shrek movies, Pinocchio appears exclusively in his stage two living toy form. Meaning, the events depicted yeah. in Shrek occur after Pinocchio comes to life, but before he's sent off to Pleasure Island and becomes a weird partial donkey creature. So in okay. Shrek films, sure. Pinocchio has no idea that Pleasure Island even exists, but Donkey does. He's already been there. In fact, we know that he managed to escape, like we see in that Alexander clip. And what might your name be? Alexander. So you can talk. Take a back. He can still talk. Get we in know the cage. Donkey has turned, but hasn't gone full donkey yet, like all the other kids that are being shipped off to the salt it's mines. Very nice. Meaning that he managed to escape before that happened. The long and short of what I'm saying mm. here is that Donkey knows full well that the evil Pleasure Island scheme of kidnapping boys and selling them as donkeys into the salt mines is in full swing, even as the events of Shrek are taking place. The yeah. criminals running the Pleasure Island scheme are very careful not to ship off any boys turned donkey 
donkeys off the island until they can no longer talk because donkeys who can talk could feasibly tell people on the mainland about their criminal enterprise and shut the whole yeah, thing down. That's like, true. Here we have ourselves donkey, the lone fairy tale creature who could end all the suffering of so many boys. But does donkey step up to the challenge of being a hero? Does he tell anyone about the ongoing horrors of Pleasure Island? Does no, he, he do doesn't. anything to stop these atrocities? The answer is no. Say some things are better left unsaid and leave it at that. He does not. Instead, he just follows Shrek around for a few movies, living it up, banging dragons. In the morning. <laughs> He was turned That's into such a weird concept of dragon and don't have any kids, kids together. Orphaned boys are getting kidnapped and sold off by the boatload, and Donkey is letting it happen. Does this make Donkey a complete ass? I don't know, but in the end, there's definitely blood on Donkey's hands. Or, I suppose, hooves. But hey, hey that's, that's just, just a theory. A film theory. theory. And, and if you want to see more Shrek, I suggest you watch our oh, other okay, video really on Shrek's deadly farts. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Linden Subscriptions. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did so, be sure to click like, subscribe to my channel so you can get next week's episode. Uh, check out my latest quote over there, Live Fans Reddit over there, or check out last week's episode over there. And until next time, I will see you tomorrow for a brand new series.